Hello! I have got a great show for you guys today and I'm so excited. Uh, we're going to go over a lot of different things, um, but I have quite a few things to talk about. Um, and <clears throat> behind me, sorry, is my wall of yarn. Um, I want, I'm going to go over this a little bit because I went through and organized it the other day. My daughter helped me, so if it looks a little different, um, I went through and organized not by color, but uh, by uh, maker. These are mostly indie hand dyed yarn, um, so I tried to organize them by that. Um, so get ready because we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. Mostly I'm going to talk about socks. Um, why am I going to talk about socks? Because it's cold weather and, well, at least most of the places around here are cold. <laughs> Not everybody's cold right now, um, but it is cold weather, and I'm going to be sharing some finished objects with you today. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to wash your um, handmade items, um, because a lot of the yarn, especially these specialty yarns, you cannot wash them. You cannot machine wash them, uh, so hand washing is the best. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very easy. Uh, so I'm going to be washing my scrappy socks, which I shared in my last video. I have not washed them yet, so I'm going to be washing that. And also my um, granny hat uh, that I shared in my Tammy sweater video, I'm going to be washing that. So I will show you guys how to do that. Also, I'm going to um, <clears throat> share with you some, I um, when I was going through my yarn, um, I picked out some yarn to uh, wind up so that I could start some new socks and I'm going to share with you really fast because <laughs> I'm so excited um, because it's getting close to Christmas I thought I would start a pair of Christmas socks so I did get one done oops and I wanted to share it with you really fast and I have not made the other one yet, and I'll share the um, the uh, pattern with you also. Let me get my sock blocker out so you can see it better. I am so excited about this because I've never made Christmas socks before. So this is exciting. And they turned out really nice. And they fit my foot perfectly, which that doesn't happen very often, even when I get the pattern right. Sometimes they're a little bit too big. I mean, anyway, but these fit perfect. So, here is a Christmas sock I finished. Isn't that lovely? So this is the ankle sock uh, pattern that I used. And the yarn is from Ellie at Craft House Magic. This is her Jingle Bell Rock sock set. So it comes in this red and white. And then with the green contrasting mini. And I bought this last year. And um, I guess I was waiting for the perfect time to wind it up and use it, and this was it. So I have to finish the other one, but here's my one of my Christmas socks. So let me share with you the pattern. It is out of this book, I Can't Believe I'm Crocheting Socks, and is right here on the back. That's the ankle sock pattern that I use, okay? It's very quick. It's very simple it's it's really easy um, another thing I wanted to talk about really fast when you are if you are thinking about doing socks um, you definitely want to um, well first of all you want to measure your foot of course and I've talked about that before where to measure um, the most important measurements um, are the widest part of your foot which is around your the the bone the big the bones of your big toe and small toe that's the widest part of your foot you want to measure the length of your foot how long your foot is from your longest toe to the back of your heel is the length of your foot and also if you're going to make a tall sock that goes up your leg you want to measure your leg if it's going to be an ankle sock um, measurements aren't really that big of a deal unless you have bigger ankles okay so that is one of the other important things also, it's very, very important if you're just starting out. You want to use 
the exact hook size that the pattern calls for. You want to use the exact yarn. Not the kind of yarn, but the exact um, weight of yarn. If it calls for a super fine, use a super fine. If it calls for a 3.25 hook, use a 3.25 hook. And I'm saying this because I am a rebel and I like to do my own thing. And so when I first started making socks, I didn't really pay much attention to that information. I just kind of got whatever hook size I wanted, whatever yarn I wanted, and I, and I didn't, I couldn't figure out why my socks didn't fit. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> anyway, it's because I wasn't following the pattern. That's why. So I have learned. So if you're just starting out, always make sure the pattern you are using, use the yarn they tell you to and use the hook size. And then it will tell you in the pattern the dimensions. You can look, you know, when you measure your foot, you can find exactly, and it should match up pretty close. It really should. Sometimes it's, you know, it's a little bit maybe bigger or a little bit smaller, but it should, it should match pretty closely, okay? Um, so, let me, oh, I want to share with you some yarn I wound up. So I, of course, I wound up this beautiful, and let me show you really quick. So this is the um, yarn from um, Ellie at Craft House Magic, her Jingle Bell Rock sock set. So this is the red and white, and then this is the lovely um, contrasting mini, the lovely green, and I got it with Stellina. So I don't know if you can tell, it has sparkles in it. It has sparkles. Can you see that? I don't know if it's going to show up or not. It's beautiful, and let me see the. It is 75% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 5% stellina. And I believe she does have this for sale on her website. So go check it out if you're interested. I'll put a link to that in the down bar. Some other yarn I wound up is this beautiful yarn. Oh my goodness, is that gorgeous! This is from Biff Sugar Yarns, Allison, I believe. Yes. Um, and this is her um, Nepara sock set. It is 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. Um, and it is beautiful and it is soft. Now, the mini that it came with, it got tangled and I could not untangle it. I had to toss it. So I chose a um, contrasting yarn to go with this, which I've been wanting to use ever since I bought it. Um, this is from Dying to Knit, Michelle, who is in Australia, and she is wonderful, and she does a wonderful job, and I love her yarn. Um, so this beautiful, kind of neutral, but it has some speckles in it, can you see some speckles? Very, very neutral, very beautiful though. Um, this is called Hay Bale. And it is a 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere, and 10% nylon. This is beautiful, soft, beautiful yarn. And I thought it would go really well. <clears throat> so I'm gonna make, I'm, I've already started another pair of socks with these two colors and I just thought they were really really beautiful and rich so I'm really really excited about that um what was the other oh let me show you I have um, two finished objects in sewing to share with you and then we will get on to our sock washing well handmade washing hand handmade washing it's a hat and socks so it's not just socks Oh, yes, and I will share another thing I want to. Let me put my labels away. Okay. So, remember that beautiful fabric that I had uh, shared in my last video that I purchased at Michael's? Okay. Well, I did not cut the fabric. Um, well, I cut it in half, but I just used, they were pretty big squares, and I don't know the exact dimensions. But I just basically put them together and made this kind of odd shaped bag <laughs> see it's, it's very long or, or it's very wide um but not very tall 
Um, and I was trying out my new zipper foot um, that I got in the, in the mail that I had ordered from Amazon and it works great. It works really well and I'm, I'm still getting used to it. But um, anyway, so I made, this is the bag I made first. I put this little handle. Not too excited about the handle. It's a little too long. It's a little too skinny, but that's okay. But um, I wanted to show you, see with the zipper foot, how close I could get to the zipper. And I did mess up a little bit. The zipper foot, you can go on either the right or left side, depending on what side you're sewing on. And I didn't really get that. <laughs> I'm still learning. But anyway, so this turned out a lot better. And I used this really cute um, turquoise zipper, which matches the handle. And the inside is this beautiful, I used the paisley. But I also made a pocket. I made a pocket. If you can see that, yeah. To match the little strap. On the outside okay so when I made this bag I was like okay first of all the zipper wasn't quite long enough so on the ends there's a little opening there a little opening there so okay <clears throat> I was like what am I gonna use this bag for I mean what am I gonna use it for well then sock blockers fit perfectly in this bag so these are my sock blocker bags okay Yay! And the little pocket is perfect. Oh, it's not in here. It must be in the other one. <laughs> it's a little pocket. It's not a very big pocket, but yeah, there's the pocket. Um, so yeah, it fits perfectly for sock blockers. So in the pocket, this is the wool wash um, or gentle wash or whatever it's, it's called, soak. Um, I get these as like freebies in some of the kits I get. Um, but anyway, it's very good for washing your um, handmade yarn stuff. So anyway, but it fits perfect in this pocket. Oh, I showed the new bag. Darn it. Anyway, okay, so this is the second bag. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself because I have too much to share. So this is the second bag I made. <laughs> and this strap I like much better. I made it shorter and I made it thicker. I like it. It's I feel it's more sturdy. Um, and I, I did a little bit better on the zipper this time. I used this pretty red zipper and I used the lovely um, polka dots. And then I matched the strap with the pocket on this one as well. So this is my second bag. Yay! So, and like I said, it um, the sock blockers fit wonderful in it and keep them safe keep them together i'm very excited and i can make some for you if you want um i'm gonna make more so but this this is just perfect it really is just perfect um but um it's still getting to know the the zipper foot and all um oh and i have an acquisition to share with you also the other thing I wanted to share about, um, so when I was making all this, um, this is a um, DPN cozy, you know, double pointed needle cozy um, that I had purchased. And it's perfect because it fits my Knitter's Pride DPNs, which are a little bit long. Um, I have ordered other DPN cozies and they were shorter than this and I don't know exactly how long. These are about nine and they fit perfectly, but the other ones didn't. These were too long, so I could not use them. So I was thinking, of, I only have one of these. This is from um, Birdie and Puppet um, from the UK and they do beautiful work and I love them. They work great, but I only have one and I have two projects right now that I'm using deep, actually three, three socks. That I'm using DPNs and I have no place to put the extra one so I'm I want to make more of these and I have the material I think I know how to do it I just need to learn how to put these snaps in I just have to learn how to do that and get some so anyway that's that's something I'm gonna work on and if if everything goes well I'll show that in the next video so anyway okay 
I think that's all I needed to share with you right now. So why don't we, um, I wanted to wind some yarn with you and I also wanted to um, show you how to wash the, my hat and socks. So let's get to that, okay? Great, let's go. Okay, so I've got my hat and the socks soaking. You wanna let them soak for 20 minutes. While we're doing that, I thought I could show you um, my acquisition that I told you about earlier. So I found this book, um, Socks from Around Norway, and found this at Barnes & Noble. I actually went there looking for a different book. They didn't have the book that I was looking for, but I found this. <clears throat> show you the back first of all this book not only has patterns these beautiful sock patterns but it also has the history of each sock pattern and it shares some old photos um, photos that are in museums of socks that they have in their museum it's amazing it's amazing I was not expecting all that but this is a very very nice book it's very well done Okay, I love the history. I love the history of socks and these different sock um, patterns. But anyway, highly recommend it. I think there's also one with mittens that I want to get maybe in the future. Mittens from Norway. So that's really exciting too. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to share that with you in case you're interested. Also, since I just finished winding this hay bale, um, I wanted to share really quick the sock that I'm working on with that yarn because it is absolutely stunning. I'm so this is the cuff and then this is the heel 
and the heel turn, the heel flap, heel turn, and then I'm, I'm working on the gusset right now. But just look at those colors. It's amazing. And I decided I was going to do the whole heel flap in the hay bale, but I decided to um, do every other so you can see the, I don't know, do you see the, um, uh, I can't remember, the spike single crochet, spike. So that only really shows up if you do two colors. So I decided to do the two colors on the heel flap. So I just think that's beautiful.